What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Power Button Podcast. Look, you wanted to steal that from me. It's I not happening. You it's not happening. And I was going to fucking run nope. with it. It's not happening. Nope. Um, this is our first episode with a guest. What's up, guys? What's Introduce up? yourself. Yes. Uh, I'm Johnson Udo. I am their two best friends, and I've watched every fucking episode. That's yes. why I'm here. Yes. How about <laughs> you? Right. Have you watched every episode? <laughs> Think about it. And if not, if you feel bad for not, like and subscribe. Make yeah, us right. feel a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm your co host, Josh Meany, and who the fuck are you? I'm the other co host, Darren Badmouth Beasley, and um, we're here to talk some shit again, like we always do. Some um, dumb shit. Yeah. So, and well, well, uh, well, there's a couple things that we need to talk about. There is some things right. we need to talk about. For you sure. Want, you want to start us off? Sure. Uh, let's start off with the Joker trailer. You yeah, saw the Joker trailer? trailer? Yes, I did see it. Okay. What'd you think of it? Personally, Okay, so I've talked about it a little bit. I'm personally not a Batman fan, but mm. the Joker Good trailer point. did interest me. It was yeah. interesting because it's a well, different Batman's take. Batman's not in it. Yeah, Batman's not, I, which I know, which I'm fine with. Yeah, right. But I think it's going to be a good like type of origin story, a different take on it, because mm. it's not like about like him being a psychotic killer. It's like the shit with society kicking his ass and driving him into insanity and all mm. that. And I like that, personally. That's the yeah. type of shit I like, in a way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is different. It is different, and Batman's not going to be in it, which is yeah. okay with me because it's the it's a different style of Joker. That's what makes it okay with me. I saw that. The cat hit the fucking... Hey, <laughs> fucking cat. Continue. <laughs> the, 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 the style of the movie, I could see, yeah, without Batman. Yeah, and the trailer. The trailer, when... You know my favorite part of the trailer? And I skim through trailers. I don't even like watching trailers. I I'm watch surprised you watched yeah, the yeah, yeah, here's trailer, the thing. Here's the thing. Honest. Here's the thing. I didn't watch it with volume, and I skipped through it. But I can confidently say I saw it. Like, cause when I scroll through it, it shows the, like, you know, you scroll through a YouTube video, it pops up with a little box, shows me what I'm scrolling through, mm -hmm. yeah. and I can look at it in there. Like, I looked at it, the parts of the trailer through that, and I listened to parts of it. But I like when he licked the paint. Wasn't oh, yeah, that so he weird? On his, on his tongue. Dude, and that's some extra <laughs> shit. And that yeah. look he gave when his face is all white, he doesn't have anything else he's on. In the he's hallway. kind of looking down. He's making that. Oh, my God. I, I just, I, 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 I fucking, regardless of this movie, regardless if it's a shitty movie or not, him licking that paint for some reason is going to stain. It's stuck in my brain now. I can't, I can't get that out of my head. And, and his laughing. Yeah. yeah, he knew, when he walks I, out of the he fucking, nailed the laugh. Yeah. I loved his laugh. I love yeah. it. And, and it's I love nonchalant. It just mm -hmm. comes upon him, and then he kind of goes back to normal. Well, uh, I love how every Joker has a different laugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if someone new gets cast as a Joker, the, everyone's looking forward to what their laugh is going to be. You know what I mean? I remember yep. Jared Leto's laugh was so weird. Yeah, It was so weird. We didn't really get a whole lot of it. We didn't get a whole lot of it. Now, my whole thing about I, – I actually mentioned this in the reaction I did. is like they're going to be doing the solo Jared Leto – Joker movie and it's kind of like if this Joker movie takes off and it's really good I feel like it's a really bad idea to go forward with a solo Joker movie starring Jared Leto it's kind of like what the fuck are we what are we I, doing I mean I don't I don't think they're gonna do that you don't think they'll end up doing it because no. they've been signed on to do it they've been talking about it like, unless it's Harley as long as it's a Harley Quinn Joker type of thing mm -hmm. that they you know the Harley Quinn they had Suicide Squad the Joker they had yeah. Suicide Squad. that's and if that's gonna be a thing that makes more sense yeah but to say a solo let's Joker do a Joker movie, movie yeah, I think, I think no, the planning I think the plan to do the Birds of Prey and another Suicide Squad though that's yeah, a yeah. fucked up thing right, right. That's so a, I don't that Suicide confused. Squad's completely different James Gunn has gone on record to make sure people understand this is not a sequel. This is a completely rebooted Suicide Squad. It does not take place in the DCEU. It's completely separate. It's a reboot. It's called The Suicide Squad. It's not a sequel. Whoa. So it's completely different. That's why he's recasting. He has whole different characters. No, no re characters are returning to this. Well, so Joker's, it's a completely different thing. Joker's supposed to be starting a new DC thing. It's supposed to be like the like the DCU. Joker's supposed to be the first one of DC Black. Apparently, it's starting like a new spinoff thing. Hmm. So maybe they're doing that. Maybe you talking about Jared know. Leto's Joker? Or? Well, no, I'm saying like the new the, Suicide this. Squad. If it's not part of the DCU, maybe it might be part of DC Black. Yeah, yeah, they're it new plans. Be. Yeah, because yeah. that because that's what Joker is. It's the first movie in that. Oh, I I just found well, that I mean, out like yesterday, but yeah, I mean, fuck. Yeah, because they're I, straying away from what they previously set up you know we have shazam it like doesn't look like it really takes place in the same universe you know what i mean well not as a joker 
Right, and neither, neither does the Joker. That's what I'm saying. So things that they're doing now, they're kind of just forgetting about the old stuff. Except Man, for they're Birds fucking of Prey. everything except up. Except for Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey still takes place in the original shit universe that they set up. But they're that trying they to move away. And do their, yeah, that they're, they're abandoning it. Yeah. It, 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 except for a, this solo Joker movie. But I, it seems like a shit show. Oh, it is. It seems like an yeah. absolute it shit is, show. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ, just get, like, you have to make it, if you're going to do universe things, you have to make it simple for the majority of the audience to digest easily. And when I think of the majority of the audience, I think of my mom, like, just a regular fucking the person. average movie. He's going to go to the movies and not, like, really be on their P's and Q's and figure out what time this movie was made and what universe this is continuation of exactly. and what universe this is. It's like, Jesus, yeah, a solo Joker movie that wants to stand alone and be by itself, that sticks out. It sticks out because mm-hmm. it's rated R. You have fucking uh, Robert De Niro in it, which is yeah. which is, <laughs> I keep forgetting. I always keep you know? forgetting, and then like I'll see an article mentioning it, and then with this new trailer, he was in this trailer, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, Robert De Niro. Yeah, in and, that. And, and, and Martin Scorsese is a producer, which I don't know what that means exactly. But right. To what extent? The fact that he had an interest at all in yeah. the script that interests me. Yeah, definitely. that's true. That's yeah, true. and I and and people people like average viewers are going to watch that and not think, oh, is this a part of the Batman versus Superman type of universe? They're just going to watch you it. You tell it's, it's own, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's clearly not. Thing. Which is what uh, I think not. you should do. Just exactly. do your solo stuff because, like we mentioned in the last episode, you can't replicate what the MCU did. No, nope. you just can't do it. No, nope. never. Um. Anyways, what else? What else? There was another topic that. Well, the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Came out. That was it. Well, a kind of a trailer. It was like a sizzle was reel a with some look, little yeah. bit of new footage towards the end. Right. It was like a special look. What did you think of the yeah, Rise of Skywalker? Say, Here's my think. thing. Um, I'm on board with you guys. I'm done with Star Wars after Last Jedi. Fuck it. But I'm going to go see it only because it's the last one. That's what I That's see. the only I'm reason just, I'm going to see it. it. I'm not excited about I'm it. Fucking dumb reason, I'm just going to see it because it's the last one. With the trailer... It, what the fuck ever, dude? Like honestly, because like the last, because Last Jedi looked dope, and then it was a shit show. Oh, it looked mm-hmm. so. Dope. So you know it what? So there was dope. shit in this that looked awesome, <laughs> but it, it might be some stupid shit that's just like it's tied up with, like the whole thing at the end with Ray. Yeah, it's probably a vision. Probably with C three PO and the red eyes. Yo, Who, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't even know what that was about. I, I mean, give me Darth C three PO. Fucking do it. <laughs> fuck it. Do whatever you want for this Darth last episode. C-3PO. I don't yeah, even care. I don't even care. <laughs> honestly, like so. Honestly, I'm done with Star Wars. It will come out when it comes out, and I'll go see it, and I'll be done with it. I don't care. The trailer sure looked cool and looked interesting. Yeah, Didn't make me any to. more excited, but. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, I feel the same way. I'm and not done with Star Wars though. See, I'm, I'm done, done with, with Star Wars. Yeah, right I'm kind. Like I'm kind of done. No, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna watch Mandalorian. That's true, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch Mandalorian, but that's not a part of the episodes. Right. Like, that's, that's what, what I'm I mean. Done with. Yeah, yeah. And but that, uh, to me, that's Star Wars. That's Star Wars episode. Fucking one, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's fucking Star Wars. Yeah, there's cartoons, there's video games, there's gonna have the Mandalorian mm-hmm. live action things. It's like those right. are spin-offs. And they yeah. can be dope as fuck. Don't get me wrong. And I have mm-hmm. faith in some of the spin-offs. Kind of. The kind only of. spin-off I actually have faith in is the Mandalorian. Not the old Republic movies, because those those fuckers from uh, the Game of Thrones mm-hmm. wanna make that shit. So I, I don't know. But we'll um, see. but the trailer to discuss to in detail the trailer, mm-hmm. right? The new trailer, I mean. I, I, okay, so <laughs> they mix half the trailer, from my understanding, unless I watched some weird fucking version no, of you, it. No, I'm <laughs> sure you watched the right one. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. It, the first part of the trailer is a compilation of it, the original yeah, trailer. Yeah, it's a sizzle stuff. reel. That's what it is, literally. It's just a sizzle reel of what we've seen before, and then they gave us, what, 30 seconds, 45 yeah. seconds of some new what, what, Why? I don't know. What the fuck is... Why are you showing us the original trilogy? Like, are you trying to suggest that this is going to bring back the original trilogy? Is that something to do with the original trilogy? You you fucked it up so bad now. <laughs> why show the original trilogy? It's it doesn't like, have anything to do with this new movie. It's almost like they're like, all right, guys, we fucked up. But don't forget these We're other still Star, Star Wars. Wars. We're yeah. still Star Wars. You got to be on board. That's like, almost what? the vibe I got like, from it. Like, don't you forget show, we're still Star Wars. Wouldn't you show footage of... The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi as a compilation and then show the because that's what we're I think it's dumb that they did that, but I think it's just to do like a anticipated build up for hype. 
yeah, of like yeah, all yeah, the yeah. movies that's why they up to that. Yeah. So why they did it's it. a dumb, stupid reason, yeah. but I think that's why they did and, it. And it, it's sad that they have to do that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pathetic. It's Star Wars. Because they, they messed up so bad yeah, last Exactly. Time. That's why. They, yeah, because they fucked it up so bad yeah. last time that they have to do something like yeah. that. Like, dog, it's Star Wars. The name should bring people to it on, off the bang, but because they, yeah, no, they fucked it up. They got to put this. If I was JJ, I wouldn't even come back. Yeah, I wouldn't come back. After what Ryan Johnson did with what he left for him, yeah. you know what I mean. You could have did so much, and then after what Ryan Johnson did, if I was JJ, I would have been like, "You know, you what? guys want me to come back? Are you are you out of your fucking yeah. mind?" Yeah. Like, and you know, two things. One, I I don't want to forget that you brought that up, but the but the other thing about the trailer is Ray going into dark side. Okay, mm. let me get this out there. Excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> fucking sweet teas, a twisted teas, not sweet teas. Um, Ray going to the dark side. Yeah, you're saying it could be a vision, even if it's not. Even if it's canon and mm-hmm. that's just what happens, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? I don't even know who the fuck she is. You that's haven't true. you haven't compelled me to feel some type of way about whether or not she stays as a Jedi or she becomes a Sith. Anakin, there's a whole arc. You see him mm-hmm. as a kid. You yeah, see him yeah. as, you know, twenty, like yeah. my age or something like that. Then you see him you know, a little bit older and it's like, oh, okay, his mom dies. Oh, okay, Padme's going through this shit. Like I could see you know, the Emperor's fucking with him. There's all these components that were with him for years. And think about three years between movies. That has an impact. Okay, when I'm fucking, oh, sure. when I'm six or when, or five, when episode one comes out, and then three years later, I know who Anakin is, mm-hmm. and then I'm a little bit older and I see episode two, then I'm a little bit older and I see episode three, I feel like Anakin has been around in my lifetime. You're following his journey. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah, right. Ray, Ray was introduced in The Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. My age. She wasn't a kid. She's yeah. fucking old already. She's 22, 21, 23 yeah, in something. The Force Awakens. And then in The Last Jedi was such a shitty movie that came out two years later mm-hmm. after The Force Awakens. Yep. And you didn't give me any reason. You didn't even explain to me how her training went. Her training, they zipped right that through it. I hate it. I hate it. The fucking job of Last Jedi. That, what, wasn't that the whole Abrams point? Set it yeah. up and he's like, here you go. That This is your job. And then Ryan Johnson's like, Fuck what, that. Uh, subvert expectations. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah, yeah, gold. yeah. Fuck fucking, out of here. Yeah. And so they, now, yeah. not to cut you off, but now she's, oh, oh, she's got the red lightsaber. She's dark. Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? That's what I yeah. think. Who gives a fuck? Like, yep. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, who, who fucking cares? Who cares? And then her lightsaber doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> you turn the thing on, and there's two of them that come out. Okay. You can't fight with it with the, yeah, with the you can't two fight like, like that. that. And then it unfolds into Darth Maul's lightsaber. Mm-hmm. It's Darth mm-hmm. Maul's light. It's exactly uh, yeah. like Darth Maul's 100%. lightsaber. You didn't come up with anything fucking new. You see the memes of they made her um, they made her lightsaber into one of those knives that open up and they got a bunch of tools on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and they have like a they got memes like that that came out. I thought they were so fucking funny. It's but like I, yeah, that's what I, it's they, like. It flips open. They like, couldn't yeah. come up with anything more original. The fact that it flips doesn't make any. That doesn't. Okay, cool. What? And it's red. You're in a robe. I don't give a fuck. That's yeah, my problem. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. And I, me personally, I'm not seeing this movie. I'm not going to spend my fucking time. I don't blame you. I went to go see Last Jedi. I looked at my dad when Princess Leia was flying through space, and we were like, you got to be kidding me. There was so much shit in the last movie that pissed me off. That was stupid. I was like, you should kill her. The fight scene with Rey, Kylo, and those guards pissed was, me th- off. It was fucking dumb. I was like, I, I like smiled, and it just went down to the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Because the dude. whole shit was stupid. It was there was bad. no there was no epic fight with Luke and Kylo at the and end. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. When he there came wasn't out, shit. I was yeah. like, "All right, this movie's been a shit show, but at least I get this." Yeah, and then they gave it to me, and I was like, "You son of a pig!" It wasn't even a fight. How can you give me a Star Wars movie and literally put no enjoyment in it for me? <laughs> I can sit there and watch the Clone Wars and be like, "Yeah, I enjoy this part. I enjoy this part." I sat through Last Jedi and I was like. Like no. what? No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was so upset. I was like, I, I was ready to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, after yeah, that movie. yeah. I was so done. Yeah, oh yeah, we looked at each other. You said no. Yeah, we looked at literally. each other. And said, no. <laughs> da, 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 da. Me and Darren look at each other. Like no, no, no. 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 We didn't. No. Even, we didn't even think not about even it. A second yep. took place. Yeah. We We're at each other. Like, no. Who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck. She could be a dark side user and fu- fuck flip the whole thing on its head. Good for you. You haven't. You, I'm not invested in Ray. Where does she learn her her tricks from? Where does she learn the force from? Even yeah, even like yeah. the Who theories that they're coming out with. Even those theories don't make me care. There's a lot of theories that it was a clone, 
And even then, it's I don't like care. that makes me care even less. Yeah, because exactly. Now it's like, oh, now you really didn't matter. And then, guys, they're so fucking desperate right now. They're bringing Sidious back. He's gonna be a prominent character. Yeah, he had something to yeah. do in that trailer. The um, the oh the what the fuck are they called the destroyers. That show up at a hyperspeed. Star destroyers. Star destroyers. Those are the ones that that were ran by Sidious. That's not the New Order ones. So it, it's like, guys, you, you guys, what you're are you desperate. doing? You're desperate. You're what de- the? We f- yeah, they're just doing anything. Senator Palpatine or Lord Sidious, rather, mm-hmm. he's not going to come back in the physical form. No, we can call him Palpatine. That's fine. <laughs> he's not going to. He's. he's <laughs> <laughs> that's not. That's fine. Fuck it. He's not going to come back in the physical form. He can't. He can't. No. He's dead. I mean. He might. I mean, no, no, seriously, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, he, he might. might. I mean, he yeah. might. I mean, he might. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He should. Like, I'm just saying, dog. If he really came back in the physical form, it's it's a disgrace to the original it's trilogy. It, it, you know, it's a disgrace. Yeah, it's a disgrace. It's more than la- It's 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 disrespect on the original trilogy. If I was George Darth Lucas, Vader, I'd fucking kill him. Yeah, exactly. Darth <laughs> yeah, Vader yeah. sacked yeah. himself. So throwing his own boy over the fucking railing mm-hmm. and down inside the and you mean to tell me he's gonna come back physically he's alive and Darth Vader's dead now? I need another sweet tea. That's what I need. Oh fuck! It breaks it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I'm grabbing another fucking sweet tea. Goddamn shit! Last one in the box. <laughs> Bullshit. I love how it was completely oh, quiet the yeah, whole time. No. We got to go get a fucking sweet tea. Bullshit. Bullshit. It is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, this is like just fucking. Sometimes I question because, like, we feel the same way. It's like, right. all right, we're going to go see this because it's the last one. It's the one that's going to end it. But sometimes I sit there, man, and I question myself. Yeah. And I'm like, but why? Why? <laughs> what? actually is really compelling me to go see this last movie because like you said they didn't even make ray into a character that i really give a fuck about and then it's the end of the skywalker saga i mean wouldn't the end of the skywalker saga be when with fucking luke yeah isn't he the last guy yeah out? that's what i thought <laughs> yeah no but luke's gonna come back oh he, uh, well he it's already been confirmed he he was on set so as yeah. force ghost as whatever Dumb Jesus shit they do. Christ, whatever. Oh it's gonna. God. It's going to oh be God. a shit show. But at least this time, when I walk into it, I know a hundred percent. I'm like, that's true. It's gonna be a shit. I'm not gonna. Last Jedi. Yeah. I'm so fucking optimistic about it. Those trailers were bomb. Yeah. Those trailers exactly. were bomb, and that's not even the movie they gave us. Bunch of horse shit. Yeah, it was stupid as hell. That's our thoughts on Rise of Skywalker. I want to ask you guys a question. So Disney Plus came out and they're going to be dropping their se- uh, their episodes and their seasons one, uh, week by week instead of doing what Netflix does and drops the whole season at a time. So my question to you guys would be, what do you guys prefer? Would you guys like the whole style of, okay, they drop a whole season, I get to binge it up at my own rate? Or do you like the week by week thing? What works better for you guys? I can go either way because I'm used to watching shows all together, binging mm-hmm. them, and then I'm used to it, – it, it honestly depends on the show. depends on what show. If it's something that I'm just optimistic about, mm-hmm. I can wait a week. If it's something that I'm really hyped about, I just want to see it now, get through it, see if it's a shitty show or not. Because if it's, if it's something that I don't yeah. care about, I can wait a week. I can yeah. give it a week and mm-hmm. wait it out. But, I mean, honestly, if they're trying to do like a week in between – it's not exactly a terrible thing because right. they're trying no, no, to no, no. De- be different. It's for- it, yeah, it's trying to be like different and I guess not exactly like Netflix in its own way. So, I mean, but I can go either way. It depends on the show for me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I feel as though personally, I, I think <laughs> binge watching is, is something that the new generation gets to benefit from, mm-hmm. I, I think. And I think it's I think it's abnormal. Uh, I think it's something that people take for granted, too. And I think that once a series comes out on a streaming service that doesn't just release all the episodes at one time, Mm -hmm. people are going to bitch about it. That's what I feel like, especially if it's something like Netflix. If Netflix, let's just say Netflix. I know this is Disney Plus, but I'm just saying, let's say it. Netflix did something like that. They probably catch a lot of flack for it, you know, but there is value in waiting for the next episode. And the reason why that is, in my opinion, I haven't like thought thoroughly through this, but is because you, you're going to get older and you're going to go through life, right? So it's going to be 
let's say two or three months when the season's done and then a year will pass and then a couple months and then you're watching the show like the walking dead and then you think back on the show and the characters kind of like you think we watched like the first episode of the walking dead mm -hmm. i remember where i was when i saw it i remember being in high school 2011 like i remember things and the characters feel like they last longer that way where if you just right. put it all out there and i watch it in a weekend I don't. I wouldn't do that because it's fucking. Insane. I've done it with a couple things, yeah. but, <laughs> but, but but you know what I mean. Yeah. I, I just watch it all right there. I'm mm -hmm. like, damn. And then I wait a year and a half for the next season. I kind of forgot about what the fuck was going on because I watched it. You, I just watched it, boom, mm -hmm. and it was one little chunk of my life. But when you spread it out. There's a whole bunch of shit that could happen yeah. in three months. That's, That's true. true. You That's know true. what I mean? Your car could break down. You can get fucking get into a car accident. Or you can do some, you know, I got totaled my Kia Spectra. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I could have been in the middle of the Mandalorian. You're growing with the show. And, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that means something. It has some kind of value. And so I understand releasing it weekly. That's the only point mm -hmm. that I would release something weekly because the characters, I feel like, stick with you personally longer. Right. Why they're going to do it weekly? I Maybe because they... they the anticipation keeps people watching it because they can't wait to see the next episode. Exactly. That's see, what I'm thinking. Now that's, that's my thoughts on it. I like the week to week thing because I think about Netflix shows and it's like, all right, a season drops and it's almost like I get this feeling like I'm rushing to finish it because everyone else is. And it's like, everyone's going to be talking about what happened in episode five, but Jesus, I didn't have time on, I'm on episode three. But then I think about shows like game of Thrones week to week. It's like this episode drop, right? And then we're talking about it for a whole week and we're speculating and then another episode drops and it almost makes that show is going to be trending for months. Exactly. But then when you drop a whole season at once, I, let, I think about all these shows and it's like we talked about it for like, what, two weeks? Exactly. And then no one's talking about it anymore. Yeah. So I think not only do I like the week to week thing better, I think it's a better strategy for them yeah yeah for sure to yeah. make it just drag out like mandalorian is going to drop on the day uh disney plus comes out one episode will drop and we're all gonna watch it and then we're gonna speculate what happens and next episode will drop the following week and i i really like that i like that a lot better because i don't feel like i have to rush when these netflix shows drop it's like i gotta fucking i gotta get through this because so much shit is gonna hit the internet it's yeah, like everyone's yeah. talking about it it's like I, I just got to get through this. And it's almost like a race against time. Right. And, right, it, yeah. uh, some, and it's ridiculous to think I watch three episodes in the week and I'm going too slow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It and get it down, done in, in a weekend. So I like that Disney Plus is going to do that. And they're really the only ones who are going to do it. Because Hulu, they drop seasons. Yeah, they drop all their stuff. You know what I mean? Somewhere. Amazon, they drop the whole season. Yeah. Like, and I think it's, I, I don't know if this is a poor word for it, but I think it's spoiled. The new generation. Oh, definitely. And people definitely. feel spoiled about it, and they and then they're gonna be jaded because it's being released weekly. And like, I want the whole thing right now. I get everything else right when I want it. I can watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I so saw. I feel like they're gonna catch flack for it. I feel yeah, like. yeah, yeah. But I but but at the end of the day, I do think I do see the benefits in it, and I do understand why they're doing it. Yeah, and, and don't I, get me wrong. Know, some yeah. things I kind of like the binge <clears> culture <throat> sometimes because sometimes don't get me wrong. I like when an episode ends, and I'm like. Of course, yeah. of course you do. Of course you do. Right. right. So of course. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You get spoiled. We're by it? spoiled. Exactly. You take it for granted. So certain shows, though, I'm kind of fine with it. It's almost like Orange is the New Black. There, there's not much really to speculate episode to episode. Yeah. Really. So like binging through it is fine. But then you yeah. have things like Stranger Things season one. Think about if that was week by week. The way those episodes ended. Yeah. It was like, oh fuck, and you were like, I, I gotta watch the next one right now. Imagine if those were week to week. That would have, I mean, Stranger Things season one was talked about for a while, but that's because no one saw it coming, and yeah. it was this surprise thing. Like I didn't get on board till almost a month after it came out. I see yeah. it on Netflix, but I'm like, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there is value the part, to releasing it. At once, mm -hmm. I think there is value Certain to things, it. I feel like, yeah. yeah. But Game of Thrones, yeah. like, imagine if I went through the last season of Game of Thrones and they dropped the whole season at once. Do like, you watch I'd be Game pissed. of Thrones? I don't. My mom does, but I've seen it because yeah. of her, and okay. yeah, and so I understand everything because she tells me all the shit as we're watching it. Yeah, okay. So I get it. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't it do either, it but... sucked before I got to finish it. So yeah, <laughs> fuck the king, fuck the king. All right, you guys got anything? Um, I had a topic that I was going to bring up. I saw some recent um, report earlier about how Disney 
how it's bought out Fox and how they're talking about renewing their new properties. And one that they want to touch on is the Die Hard franchise. Mm -hmm. Right. What do you guys think about that? They're talking about possibly either doing another one or right. a prequel. Why did we do like kind of the same thing? He, he He's like finishing a sentence. We're both like. All right. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I think that I think that that is I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think they're going to do it. You know, I think that I mean, a rumor's a rumor. Right, you know, right. I understand that that's a rumor, but yeah. I don't think there's enough. I just don't think there's enough like <laughs> empirical evidence behind that rumor to make me believe in it. Yeah, you know, I true. don't think that Disney's going to reboot Die Hard. Yeah. But I will say that if they did, let's just say if they did, mm -hmm. I it's a fucking terrible idea. Horrible. For, yeah, first absolutely. of all, for a couple of reasons. First of all, first of all, Mickey Mouse... There and I said this before. There will be no blood stains on Mickey's ears. It won't happen. Minimal, but yeah. I mean, I guess they minimal. they have Deadpool now. Yeah, but that's dropping yeah. under the Fox. That's another thing, though. That's their gateway to being able to do it. Anything because they can. They're still going to drop movies under the Fox banner. Sure. So you won't see the fucking castle with Disney yeah, right, and no. then right, see no, a bunch yeah, of right, blood. Right. But, but but I'm just that's saying. Their way. I'm just saying they are not. They are shying away from rated R content, yeah, which which that's true, which which is why is they're a, putting the Fox banner in front of those exactly, movies. And, yeah. and it's a goddamn shame too, because that's going to be they're monopolizing the industry because yeah. they're buying all these things and they're, yeah, they're just yeah. swinging the big old peckers around. And because of that, rated R content's going to be on the low because Disney's not going to produce rated R well, content. Maybe. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to produce it, but I think anything else that they buy, well, maybe I, what they should do. Like what they're doing with Fox. Anything they buy, let them kind of do their thing under their banner. But, mm -hmm. I mean, they're going to come in and be like, all right. like They, yeah, yeah, they want to make good content, but still put it under that banner that you're buying. But here's the thing. Cover Let's up. just say Disney wasn't the one monopolizing and it was Fox that was monopolizing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Think of the number of rated R movies we would have. Fox isn't afraid of getting bloodstains across their fucking... Dun, 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 they could be covered in brains. They don't give a shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. You see? Uh, Disney. Disney. Aladdin would have been rated R. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Disney owns the shit. Mm -hmm. And they want, they're not having it. Mm -hmm. So I think rated R content that could be, won't be now because Disney is, is in front. And so maybe Die Hard could be released under the Fox thing. I just don't... I don't understand why... That's we what would I'm do saying. It? I think it's a stupid idea because one, one, the last one was a shit movie anyway. It got terrible. I don't even last know what the last, last two. I don't yeah. know what the yeah. last one like, is. Like, I'm not even a big fan of Die Hard. So, like, a sequel would be stupid to carry it on. And a prequel, John McClane's not anyone special. He's a, he's a, he's a cop. He's just an ordinary cop who mm, just yeah, gets right. mixed up in shit. Yeah, that's true. So, the movies wouldn't even really be anything special anyways right. so what would be if, the point of touching Bruce Willis, die hard yeah, of yeah. all your things that you got in fox because fox has a shitload of stuff yeah, for sure that yeah. they can they got a lot of content. that they can mess with yeah why die hard so right. like i just saw that and i thought it was the stupidest thing i've ever seen yeah because they're <laughs> they're in talks with either five, doing definitely. a sequel or a se or like a prequel type thing and i just thought this was the stupidest shit i've ever seen in my life that yeah. Disney would try to touch on yeah when they no. can touch on so many no. different stuff. I mean, I know I don't think they will. Yeah, I don't think they will. I, I, I it would definitely wouldn't be a smart decision if they did. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't think they will either. And if they do, I don't think they're gonna reboot it. I like they. Well, got, what else are you gonna do? Do what the fuck they're still doing. I mean, it's a bad idea. But like, you're gonna reboot Die Hard and take out Bruce Willis. <laughs> in is it not gonna be McLean? No, it's supposed to be McLean. So That's you're going to recast a different character. That's a shit show from the start. At least if you're wow. continuing it like they are now, which is it has been some shitty movies, but at least you still have McLean and you still have Bruce Willis to sell the movie. No. What do you have to sell the movie no. now? No, see, I, I, I think that, that if you're going to do it, you get to reboot it. You're not, you, to put another movie out there with John McClane and, and, and Bruce Willis playing as John McClane when he's fucking old. Well, yeah, but think about it. Doing. I mean, these people with Sylvester Stallone still as Rambo and Rocky. Yeah, and but nobody's people still, seeing the People new, still go see that shit. The new Rambo? People are hyped about that shit. People are hyped about and that. And it's fucking dumb. I've seen that too. I'm people stupid. are hyped for that. I think it's dumb because I don't believe it. It's not believable. It Rocky Balboa even. That movie yeah. made money. It yeah. didn't flop. Yeah. It didn't Rocky. flop. People are when on When was board. the last Rocky? The last Rocky? What, what was that? Because no, no, no. he was older. You're, you're thinking of Creed. No. No, 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 no. There was a movie called Rocky Balboa. And he was older. You've never seen it? After five. When was it? 
It was like it wasn't. Oh, any, was it high school? Like towards the end of high school, probably maybe? Mm-hmm. or something. Because he was he was older, uh, but, but it must have not done well. Because I never fucking it didn't, didn't flop. flop. I didn't hear about it. I haven't seen it. I didn't even know it existed. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> It's yeah, no. Rocky Balboa. What did it blow up? Was it a big fucking? It wasn't movie? like a huge thing. It wasn't but a huge it, thing, but, but it, it did, did not well. Flop. Yeah, it did yeah. Not flop. I, me personally, man, these actors are too fucking old. They yeah, are. Bruce they Willis are. to sure. come back to do another Die Hard movie is a fucking joke to me. Oh yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If, if, if anything, sure. if anything, the smarter route, which I guess isn't even the smarter route, because all these people out there are fucking stupid and they want to go see Bruce Willis old as fuck jump off a goddamn building. Well, no, at the no, age those of movies are flopping though. The last <laughs> Die yeah. Hard did not do well yeah. in the theaters. Fifteen percent, Ron. No one, yeah, no one wants to see. That shit. Anymore. Okay, well then I have my point then. Yeah, kind kind of, but then it's like if you reboot it, why? It's called Die Hard with John McClane. Okay, but here's what the thing. Though. Here's doing? the thing. They shouldn't do it at all. Here's the thing. Die Hard, right? The reason why Die Hard was fire was because we had Bruce Willis, who was an action star at the time. He was pretty popular, and he was young. He was in his prime, right? And then we had a movie that actually had a good setup. For some action to take place, something that can get you engaged in it, right? Why can't we do that again? We can. We but don't why call need, it Die Hard. We d- we don't have to call it Die Hard. We don't have to. Then that's fine. We don't have. Then to. it's but, not a Die Hard reboot. Exactly. But right. if we're going to do, if we are going to make a Die Hard reboot, and we are going to call it Die Hard, then why not do the same recipe that made it successful back in the '90s? Right now, why don't we get an action star who's younger in their prime right now to come in and do McLean and doing it a different way? Because I don't think would people fucking are like gonna it. be attracted to that at all because the well, only thing sure. that got people in the seats is because bruce willis was coming back but you said the last did, one it was shitty it was shitty okay was, so you're gonna do that again but then you do a <laughs> die hard movie and it's not even bruce willis i have zero reason to see that movie it, it's kind of it's kind of like jason bourne it's kind of like, it, jason like with the fourth one when he wasn't when it was jeremy renner yeah it's but true. he didn't play the same character that What's his face was playing? He was playing that's a different true, character, but, though. But so they, that's different. You can make yeah, a Die Hard true. movie and not have John McClane. Then I'm a little bit more but on that's board. Still, but, re- but, but the, point, John McClane, the, no. the point still remains, though. Because all Die Hard is is a dope action movie. You have to understand that. So, yeah, if sure. we have, so if we have an actor who's in their prime and we have a dope setup for an action movie and we call it Die Hard to get people to go see it – then I think you can replicate at least a little bit of what they did back in the day. That's all it is, guys. The Terminator. Terminator. Think of Terminator. You could make another Terminator movie without Arnold Schwarzenegger. What do you do? You get some other guy. What was Arnold Schwarzenegger? He wasn't even an but actor have all the at the same time. Characters have John. Connor no, no, Sarah no. Clark. Like right. you could have different characters or whatever. Because I know that the story, the plot is more. So that's what I'm saying. What you're saying, but, I'm down with. That's what they have to do, though. They have to make another Die Hard who's not John McClane. If you try to recast that character, well, it's like yeah, you, but can, you, can, you can replicate it and just do a different character. Kind of yeah, like but, what they did with Scarface. But there's nothing really unique about John McClane. Like he was saying, yeah, he's a fucking really cop. Not. He's just a cop. Right, but, but you, you know. automatically think of Bruce Willis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Do. I don't think that's a good idea to yeah, have not, John McClane not, in the new Die Hard yeah. reboot if it's not Bruce Willis. Then have a different character. I think if you're going to make a Die John Hard— McClane doesn't— if, 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 which I don't even think is a good idea. I'm not even dying on the hill that it's a good idea to do this. And yeah, we're not defending this fucking yeah, thing. No, <laughs> no, whatsoever. All no, whatsoever. Yeah, 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 exactly. But if we are going to do a Die Hard reboot with McClane, mm-hmm. we can get some other top tier action hero to play as that person and make a dope movie. Make a dope movie. Fuck it. Make a dope action movie. John Wick came out of fucking nowhere. Keanu Reeves. Up. Oh. Yeah, he's just in there shooting the but shit out of people. But it was something new. It wasn't John McClane. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If we're going to, with that narrative, if we're going to reboot it, mm-hmm. that doesn't mean it has to be shitty. It could be a good movie. And it's not going to be a good movie if Bruce Willis comes back to play as John right, right. McClane. It's not. It's right. just going turn off to me right off the bat. If they come out with a diehard movie, it's John McClane. It's and shitty. fucking Joe Schmo playing John McClane. I have nothing that makes me want to see that First movie. Of all, Unless people come out and say it's fucking fire. That's, what I'm, saying, yeah. that's what I'm but saying, though. That's what I'm saying, though. But you have to get the people in the seats to see it. Yeah, but if the movie's dope as fuck, how are people gonna know? And you're calling it Die Hard. Well, dog, I mean, if uh, Disney releases a fucking action movie under Fox and they if, and they have it on the trailer, people went to go see Hobbs and Shaw. Any action movie, people are gonna, people went to go see John Wick. They how do you know it's dope? It's a new IP. You know that that you know you can't really say. Well, how do I know it's dope? I'm not gonna go see it. So well, people will see it and people will a, talk. about it. I think it. a small, very small group. Would go see it though. Uh, sure, whatever, whatever group goes to see it is gonna go see it because it's Die Hard. Mm-hmm. 
You see what I'm saying? And if it's a fire movie, more people will go see it, regardless if Bruce Willis is in it. And, I, and my again, I think Bruce Willis being in it would be shittier. I think Bruce Willis would make the movie shittier. I if think he the was whole thing's shitty. I think yeah. the whole thing's shitty. Around. No, but I think the oh, whole thing's around. shitty too. I'm not even trying to defend it. I'm just saying if Disney's going to reboot it, get someone new in there, do it young. Okay. You can make a good movie. And I could see it. I could be like, yo, the new Die Hard movie's actually fire. You know what I mean? I just don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I don't think it's going to I think it's a bad idea. And yeah. I don't think people are going to go watch this new Die yeah, Hard movie if they I ever don't. make it. Yeah. yeah. If they do make it, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I just For want sure. to hear other people's thoughts on it. Yeah. I Fuck didn't that. hear they wanted to get their hands in Alien. They're going to be rebooting Alien again. All right. Mm. <laughs> well, with Alien, I mean, that, I mean, why? I mean, didn't we, we had Prometheus... And then we had the, uh, what the hell was the last one called? Uh, Covenant. Covenant. I, I can't shit. believe I went to the movies and saw that. I mean, the movies are shit. So bad. Keep Ridley Scott away from the fucking movies. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> again, it, the, the, the industry, they want to milk the franchises. They don't want to bring back what made the franchise special in the first place. You know, the reason there's a reason why the first Alien movie and the second Aliens movie, Aliens, mm -hmm. was super popular. There's reasons why. And it's <laughs> to think... That it's just the alien is asinine to think that oh, as long as we have an alien in the movie, it's gonna be dope that's as fuck. That's what they do with Predator. I that's feel what they like, do with yeah. Predator. yeah, as long as Predator's in it, it'll be, it'll be dope yeah. as fuck. I enjoyed the last Predator movie, but it was a shit ass movie. Yeah, but I enjoyed yeah, it because yeah. it was so fucking crazy. Did you see yeah, the last yeah. Predator movie? Yes, I did. I went, I went to the movies and checked it out, and I liked it. I, like I enjoyed it, but I know it was a shit, it was a shit show. But mm -hmm. it, they made it. They went out with a bang. You know what I mean? It was yeah. just like, all right, it's going to be a shit movie. Let's make it entertaining. There was blood. There was crazy shit happening. Comedy. I had fun. It was fun. funny. Oh, yeah. It was funny. It was funny yeah. I had a really good time watching it. And the guy who played the Punisher, the guy who played the Punisher back in the day, 2002, 2003, he was in that movie. He was the guy with the, do, 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 the fuck, the fuck. I was okay. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the guy who played the Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. You're right. I, yeah. I don't know how the fuck I didn't notice right off the bank because I love that Punisher movie. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was a surprise. Just stay the fuck away from milking franchises. But you know what? Yeah. They're never going to stop. No. They're oh, never no. going to fucking no. stop. As long as money is an alternative, or uh, money is the motive, then that's what it is. Um, it's all about money now. Yeah, it's, it's that's not why even we lost Spider-Man. good... Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I had I a question. I got like yeah. upset. I just started <laughs> looking down. Get like, depressed. Like, <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> fucking... Why'd you have to bring that yeah, up Yeah, like, I'm tired of thinking about it. <laughs> Shit. Um, no, I had a question, right? Well, this is kind of... It's a bizarre question. Because it formulated... Those are the best. I was at work. I guess so, right? <laughs> I was at work walking back and forth. I was wanting Dasani water, so I had not a whole lot to do. And I was thinking, I was like... Man, Specifically fuck, Dasani I, water. If he's running like Coke, it's fine. It's regular I, Coke, it's no, fine. Yeah, no, it's different. There's a difference. Dasani, there's a difference. Um, and I was sitting there, and I was thinking, I was like, all right... Um, I, I watched some video about the Joker, the Dark Knight, that was like, oh, is the Joker the greatest... Villain in cinema history of all time. That specific Joker. That Heath Ledger's Joker. Okay. And I was like, no. And it was a little thing. It was cool. It was like the poll that we do mm -hmm. on the podcast. It was like that. And I and it, it was during the video. And I clicked no. And it popped up with like eleven percent said no, and like a shit ton said yes. And I'm like, the best villain in cinema history. I'm like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I'm like, what is the best villain in cinema history? That is a good question. That that is a good question. Now I would say that Heath Ledger is top. He's one of. Oh, he has to be yeah, in the he's conversation. Definitely up there. Yeah, yeah. He's one of Clearly, the greatest villains. By the yeah. bowl, he's but in a lot of people's minds. Here's the thing. I started thinking about all these other villains. It's like the 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 villains. It, so a villain, the word villain can be applied to so. Oh, it doesn't many. have to just be superheroes, right? No, it doesn't have to be superheroes. Right. Scarface is technically it's, a villain. Yeah. See what I'm, you he's know? A villain, yeah. Are we putting Heath Ledger up against Scarface. That's a uh, quite the debate, you know. So do you guys have That's a, a good uh, debate? Uh, I, uh, I, I, I couldn't think I don't, of one. I can't. In fact, in my, I watch um, too many videos. <laughs> too many movies. <laughs> too many movies, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. But yeah. in my um, my Joker reaction, I said, I was thinking, uh, oh, no, not my Joker reaction. <clears throat> uh, no, you know what? I fucked up. I'm thinking of something in a video that I haven't even dropped yet. But I was thinking of Loki's one of my favorite villains um, in the MCU. And I thought to myself, I'm like, well, who is my favorite villain in the MCU? And I was thinking about, I should make a video on that, but I really have to think of that. Mm -hmm. Like, who's like, what would be my top five villains in the MCU? And it's hard to even think of that, really, to come up with that. Like, who would be the top five? So to 
as broad as that, villains in general, I don't even think I can do it. I know, I that's don't. tough. I don't think I can pick number one. I can pick some of my favorites and throw them out there, but if you ask me to put them in order... That's a different story. It's hard. It's yeah, very that's hard. hard. That's hard. There's a whole bunch. But like Heath Ledger's in there. Like If you talk about greatest villains of all time... He's one of the people I'm going yeah. to think of yep. for sure. He made such an impact. I mean, I'm sure not just on me, on plenty of people in the world. Like yep. seeing that for the first time was like, oh my god, yeah, yep. oh my god. Yeah, we, uh, we don't think we have a villain like him. If we since... stray from the superhero genre and start thinking about the other all villains, the villains, I mean, even even like Whitey Bulger, you know, yeah. what I mean? even Black Mass. It's <laughs> yep. like Jesus. He's if we're gonna include everyone. We might be here. Jason a while. Voorhees. Oh, gee. I didn't even you think of that. Serial yeah, killer. Yeah. No, seriously, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, like, yeah. All those slashers, Mike Myers, all of them. I mean, really? think about you. You don't even have not to Mike say Myers, anything. but you know what I'm saying. Like people like him. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't even have to say anything. Yeah, right. You have zero dialogue in the movie, and you're one of the greatest villains of all time. <laughs> one of the most classic villains of all time, Jason Voorhees. Mm -hmm. Mike Myers yeah. didn't say much. Didn't say a fucking word. Yeah. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Like, damn, this, that, like that. That just opened up my mind. I'm like, oh, there's a shit ton of villains. Because well, what we consider a villain, because like you said, Scarface. Yeah, seriously. All right. So how about we make the question: Who would be? When I say to you guys, who's your favorite superhero villain? Who's the first person to pop to mind? If we can narrow it down a little bit more, For, even don't even think about it like your number one. Like who who pops to mind when I say your favorite superhero villain? For me, it's in cinema, not like generally. I would only say Thanos just because I literally just watched Endgame like for the third time like two days ago, yeah. and I do like him as a villain. I thought he was a pretty dope villain. Yeah, I do too. I like. So Thanos. I mean, I would say him, but like you said, it's not like a top thing because he's not my top one. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is, but I don't know. I just think of Thanos as a pretty badass villain. Yeah, and I liked him as far as superheroes go, like superhero villains go. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Well, I mean, Heath Ledger. I was just about to say, it's like, I can't help it. I mean, as far as... But here's the thing, though. I mean, I understand that he's a superhero villain, because Batman's considered a superhero, mm -hmm. but the Joker's not a super villain. No, no, no. Super villain? He doesn't have any super no, I'm just talking about villains, and the super, but if you're talking about super villains, yeah, that's a different that's story. That's a different story. I might... Yeah, I yeah, might yeah. And cinema I wanna... wise, I might gravitate towards Magneto. You know what I mean? If you're talking uh, about I super know. villains, I... Yeah. I think I what think personal Thanos impact and what that character did to me through the cinema movies. I super think, villains, yeah. yeah. I think Thanos takes it for me too. Really? Because the feeling of Thanos, Thanos represented doom, in inevitable, inevitable doom. There's mm -hmm. nothing you could do to escape it. Mm -hmm. That's what he represented. I felt like, and he's not scary to look at, right? Like, well, I, I look mean, at him. <laughs> well, in real life, in real life, he'd be terrifying. Life, yeah. But I'm just but saying, like, on the realm, in the yeah. movie, yeah. And he's not as creepy. He's not Venom. You know, he doesn't look yeah, fucking no. scary looking, mm -hmm. you know, but there's something scary about him. I think it's just how calm he is when he knows he can fuck shit up. Yeah. Like he was so like when they were all just coming up on him on the last one and he was just chilling, just sitting, just Using like the stone. Just like, like oh, oh, yeah. how much he, he has oh, his shit like, you together. Got, you guys again. OK. Yeah, like, right. All right. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, I think that's what gets me about him. Like. Jeez, yeah, he just yeah. does Confident not care about shit. Like yeah. he just does not care. See that? And my my thing with him is in the beginning of Infinity War, when he's like, "You can run from it, you can hide from it, but it's gonna catch up with you." Or I should Destiny say, "I'm still gonna... arrives." Yeah, yep. like that that mindset is impending doom. Impending doom. What are you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's death coming to you. And the fact he's holding Thor and he's just dragging him through his own fucking ship. It's like. Damn, dog, that's scary. The, this idea of you being like that's scary. It doesn't matter. You're purple. You're not. You're not physically scary. I look at you. I'm not scared of you. Like Venom is more intimidating looking. But right, yeah. but just this idea, this aurora that you give off is scarier than I think Magneto. I think I think I don't get me wrong. I love Magneto. Mm -hmm. I fuck with the it's new all about Magneto. How it impacts yeah, you, you know what I mean. But yeah. but it, it, Magneto didn't hit me as hard as Thanos's. Mm. I don't give a fuck. I'm here to kill everything like that. And the fact that he did it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Juggernaut in Deadpool 2. I know that sounds bizarre, but the Juggernaut in Deadpool 2, when he says he's going to do something, I felt like he was going to fucking do it. 
I and there was you. a pinch. That's true. There was a pinch of like <laughs> concern, <laughs> like fear, a little bit when he's like, "I'm gonna fucking rip you in half." I'm like, eh, you know, people talk shit all the time, but this motherfucker yeah. and he grabbed <laughs> him and ripped, ripped him, him in half, half. and right. I was like. Oh shit! And then when they met him again and at the mansion, and he goes, "I'm gonna fuck." He's like, "I'm gonna stick you up your ass." Or he says some shit like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, "Damn, dog, he might actually do it." Because he <laughs> he said he was gonna yeah, rip him in half before. Sure. I, his word means something, mm -hmm. and right. Thanos's word meant something, and that impacted me. I mean, just that little clip of Juggernaut impacted me. Mm -hmm. So don't get me wrong with Magneto. I put Magneto over Juggernaut. You know, at least the, the new Magneto over Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. But those small things. They're, I think they're a big deal. You know, know what I mean? I really feel like adds to your point that really struck me is in Endgame when he sees himself get clipped, he didn't freak out. He wasn't nervous. He said, that's destiny fulfilled. Yep. And there's yeah. There's something about that that's like, God damn, boy. Impending like, doom. <laughs> impending doom. Yeah. I was, what, what did he say before he snaps? I'm inevitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I am inevitable. I'm inevitable. Which is wrong. Which is wrong because he's not. But the fact that it led you to believe that he was all right. the way through, that's yep. great. That's great. And I think that's what makes a great villain. And uh, all this other bullshit about him being like, oh, you just got to balance out the unit. I think that's stupid as fuck. Don't get me wrong. I think they fucked up elements of Thanos. Mm -hmm. I don't think the whole, I just got to balance everything out. No, dude. You should have went in there like, no, fuck it. I could. I, I have the Infinity Gauntlet. I could bring life. I could balance the universe by bringing more life. I don't have to right. kill people. But – they made him try to like logically figure it out and logically it doesn't make any sense. I wish he was more evil like the comics. I was just about to say right, that. I wish they went right. more with he's yeah. just trying to impress death. Yeah, I wish it's he was just, just like, I just to, want yeah. to clip half the universe because that's easier and I don't give a fuck. Which I'm I not wish even that was shocked they didn't that's do true. that. That's true. Like, of course, the MCU didn't exactly. do that. A bunch like, of pussies. They fucked up Ultron. Yeah. 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 And they fucked up Ultron. That's an ultimate crime. Yeah. That's a fucking crime. Goddamn movie. Sucked. You have to go out of your way. To fuck up Ultron? Yeah, I feel yeah. like you have to go out of your way. Like Josh just, Sweden didn't give a shit. He didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck. It's not like he was gonna watch it, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> um You guys see the new Terminator trailer? I've seen it. Came out today? Yeah. Damn, so you guys are on your P's and Q's. I didn't fucking see it. <laughs> well, okay, so I like this trailer better than the first trailer they put out. But I'm just not on board with this Terminator thing. There, There's this trend going on where it's like, we're going to drop this movie and retcon every sequel that came after it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what they're doing. This is supposed to be Terminator 3. And well, you know what James Cameron came out and said? This is the beginning of a new trilogy. So this is Terminator 3. It takes place after Judgment Day and nothing after Judgment Day happened. And he's doing two more movies after this movie in this other realm of Terminator that they're doing and I just I'm just tired of this shit it's like you're taking milking the franchise to another level yeah you're gonna retcon your own shit yeah and then the it's whole so aren't they pushing the feminist thing yeah the league can, well, the whole... I mean I don't know how forced it's gonna be until I see the movie in the trailer I didn't seem yeah and, in and my it face. was pretty neutral she seemed so, pretty yeah, badass yeah I'm like okay whatever yeah. it's a female like I thought the whole cast was female well, <laughs> he's got a point. I guess the cat yeah, mostly, yeah, except it, for Arnold yeah. coming back. There we go. Back Cut to up. our last couple of topics. Right. Yeah. Old motherfucker coming back. But Pretty sure they're all female. Except most for the, of them. Except, except for the main uh, villain yeah. is the dude from who played Ghost Rider in yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But I just don't like this. They did the same shit with Halloween. Like me personally, I really love Halloween and I love Michael Myers. That's one of my favorite slasher films. Fuck I've Michael seen, Myers. <laughs> I've seen every single Halloween. Now, someone who's <laughs> a fan of Halloween, you're going to tell me to forget every Halloween after Halloween 1. Do you know how many Halloweens there are? There's about nine. You want me to forget every Halloween movie after 1 that came out? eons ago even the sequel that you made to that with the same characters who were in the first one you took those characters and put those them in this new halloween movie there's two halloween twos with the same characters that aren't connected makes no sense you bring jamie lee curtis back she was in halloween too i like halloween two took place in the hospital that was shit was fire halloween one and two are great 
You want me to forget about Halloween 2 and you're going to bring back Jamie Lee Curtis to play the same fucking character? Oh, wait a minute. Now you're making three, no, two more Halloween movies? Yeah, it's... it's I just uh, don't like that trend, this trend no. that they're doing. Yeah, you no, want me to stupid. forget yeah, everything that you've already done? It's one thing to milk the franchise and just try to continue it, mm. but now you're telling me fuck everything you did prior except right. for one or two movies. Yeah. Such a dumb fucking yeah, idea. That, yeah, that is stupid. I mean... I yeah uh, I I mean they, they, maybe they'll do that with Star Wars one day. I hope not. I just but, want I just want to hear more stories <laughs> in the Star Wars universe that have nothing to fucking do with the Skywalkers. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah, that's well, what I want. I, and I want the Old Republic to be made by not the people who did Dungeons and Dragons or uh, Game Dungeons of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know it could be good maybe, but the chances really drop for me after the last season yeah. of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. We'll see, though. We'll see. You know what I mean? Like, you got someone like John Favreau made Iron Man 1, but then he went and made Iron Man 2. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, that's that's true. True. you never yeah. fucking know. You never know. It could shit. be really good or it could be shit, but you know what will be shit? And I won't give any fucking chances. That trilogy they're giving to Ryan Johnson. He's still fucking doing it. I don't give a fuck no. what it is. I don't care. I don't no. fuck what it is. I'm not watching it at all. Yeah. No interest at all. Are you guys yeah. going to get Disney Plus? I feel like I have to. November 12th, I think. I think I might have to only because, like, it sounds like stuff from there is going to be connected to the movies. It is. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not going into the movies blind. Otherwise, I'm going to hate them. I, I feel like that's just... <laughs> I, I feel like I will hate them if I don't have some sort you don't of understand context the, to it. Yeah. That's not fair. But, yeah. And yeah, it's like, yeah, that's not fair. Before. Yeah. I don't think that's fair at all. It's not I fair. have to subscribe to well, your streaming service so I can understand the movies. Well, God, well, well, well MCU. Just MCU, because Star Wars, I don't think you have to. Yeah, but I don't think but. fair is the right word. I don't think it's smart. I don't think it's fair either. What if, Cause, cause what if I don't yeah. subscribe to streaming services and I'm just a really big movie buff, but I don't get into shows? You're telling me that if I go to see this new MCU movie, I'm not going to fully understand it because I didn't get into a show? Yeah, I don't think that's a smart idea on Disney's part, but fair? I don't, I don't know. Well, I, 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 I kind of get how it's not smart. I don't know if this is true. But I so like Captain America Winter Soldier. I know we're going back on like movies, but like I heard that follow. I heard like Agents of Shield, whatever season it was, tied into that. Did I don't it? know. If, I don't know if that's oh, true. God, I, show I don't really so watch bad. it just... exactly. <laughs> but like at the same time, I don't watch Agents of Shield, but yeah. I watch Captain America, and I still understood it. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much the shows are gonna really apply to the movies. Yeah. Well, the thing with that, they never try too too hard to make the sh the movies recognize the shows as they did the shows recognize the movies because they're led by two different people joe uh quesada i believe his name is runs the shows for marvel but kevin feige ran the movies and they they don't clash well in fact joe quesada left the uh, helping with the mcu movies because him and kevin feige were butting heads oh, okay so but now we have these shows that are being run by kevin feige that are going to be on Disney yeah. Plus, so those are going to be more like, yeah, they're really connected. The movies will recognize the shows, right, so I the feel, shows will recognize the movies. I feel like right. you're going to go see a movie and not understand what's going on, you're going to lose interest in the MCU, and then the, the, the stocks, or not the stocks, but I don't think the movies are going to be as successful. Right. But mm -hmm. I don't think, I, I think that's that's just not an intelligent decision oh, to do with that Disney yeah, show. Not, I, I mean, not. fair is like, fair I don't think it's is fair like, to your fans that are following you right now. You're telling me I have to subscribe to Disney Plus to understand this journey that I've been on with you for 10 years. Yeah, but they don't owe you anything. I mean, no. You know that's not I mean? a fair <laughs> thing to do. If it's not fair, that means it has to be fair. That's not fair at all. No, I wouldn't even consider I'm on it, this journey. I'm following you, and it's like, all right, now I need you to pay a monthly subscription to understand going further. It's like, well, then it's you're like, just I've not going to... I've been gonna... giving you my money for 10 fucking years. Right, right. You're just not going to get into the movies then. No. And then that's their fault. That's their problem. Then, then that movies the movies are just not as interesting as they used to be, you know. That's the way I see it. Like it's like you guys are just doing a dumb thing. It is dumb, but yeah, I, you know just, I, I, mean? I don't think it's fair. It's you know? not fair to your hardcore fans who followed you for ten fucking years. You're telling me I have to pay even more money. That's not right at all. That's but yeah, yeah. No, I feel like that's I feel like fucked up. I feel like the the same ideology that they're carrying back when Iron Man One came out, which is just go see our movies and you'll understand everything because we're putting everything inside the movies. Mm -hmm. It's like if they drop that narrative and they say, well, we're not going to put everything inside the movies, so people who go see the movies who haven't seen the shows are going to be lost. It's like, well, okay, you just shot yourself in the foot, you know, because the true fans are going to see the shows. They're going to. 
The two real hardcore Most Marvel them, yeah. fans are going to subscribe to Disney Plus. Most and of see them, because the I've talked to guys at work who are not getting Disney Plus, but they follow the MCU movies. And I've asked them, "Are you going to get Disney Plus?" And they're like, "I don't know." And it's right. so like, "All right, well, you're fucked because you're not going to fully under- understand Doctor Strange too because yeah. you didn't watch WandaVision." Right. Fucking, it, and we'll it's see. Not right. We'll see how much it it incorporates into the movies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I saw that poster for WandaVision. What the fuck was that? It's gonna be what the a fuck sitcom. Was it's that? gonna be a sit- <gasps> They're sitting yeah. on the couch with the TV, and I'm like, yeah. "What is this? What so, is uh, this?" So apparently, it's a warped reality that she's gonna make with Vision. I don't know why it's in the '50s for whatever reason, but it's an, uh, that's, it's in the multiverse. Yeah, yeah. It's and she's timeline. yeah, and she's making a warped reality where Vision's still alive and they're living their life. where she can be happy. Yeah, and I think that's gonna cause the multiverse of madness. Yeah, she's well, gonna yeah. get too comfortable, and Doctor Strange's gonna be like, "Look, you're fucking shit up," and she's probably. <laughs> gonna be like nah and then multiverse of she's gonna fuck something up by doing this yeah i know she is a sitcom though a sitcom yeah the sizzle reel that they showed you know dick van dyke yeah they cut together That's dick van- silly name. <laughs> <laughs> they cut together dick van dyke footage with old footage of wanda and vision and said this is basically what wanda vision is and immediately on my scale of anticipated disney shows <laughs> it just Dropped. Just yeah. dropped. Yeah. It was why? That's uh, it just seems so Like stupid. I'm still interested and I'm still gonna check it out, but like now I don't think it's gonna be as dope as I originally thought it was gonna be. But then again, it's like what are what are we even doing? Yeah. Vision's dead. Yeah, and, and guys, they're making the Disney Plus streaming service for the hardcore fans. That's another thing too. If you're not gonna release all the product or all the well, yeah, product at, at once like Netflix, mm-hmm. they're gonna get backlash for that, and then they're gonna do it you know, like they're gonna make these shows. There's how oh, you have to see the shows for you aren't gonna understand the movies. I, I just feel like Disney Plus is gonna come out, and a lot of people are gonna critique it hard. Oh, for sure, for sure. They're gonna be yeah, like, I have Disney yeah. Plus, and I feel like I'm not getting my values worth because they're not hardcore Marvel fans. They just want to see what Disney has in store, and they're gonna watch it and be like, okay. I guess this ties into the movie, but if I'm not really into the movies, what am I getting from Disney Plus? And I think that's a valid, you know, for the, question. I mean, for the most part, because there's a lot of content coming to Disney Plus that isn't MCU and Star Wars. What else? They got well, they doing, got all the Disney movies, right? Yeah, but they have other shows and movies that they're doing. Other sh- uh, what? Lizzie McGuire, Lady in the Tramp, Home Alone, fucking. <laughs> Wait, so what, what does that mean? They're going to be on the streaming service? Mm-hmm. So you can watch the originals. Originals. You can watch the movies on No, no, they're redoing Lady and the Tramp. What? But, but, okay, but that's not the same as the that, that, that the value behind that. It, you know, pales in comparison to the original. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. So, so but I'm, they I'm have saying, other things that aren't going to be, oh, you have to see this to go with the movies and see. No, There's no, I'm not even saying that. I'm not even, saying, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying, like, hardcore fans. Like, if you're not a hardcore Disney fan, you get Disney Plus for what? You're gonna remake Lady and the Tramp. That's not gonna be. That's not gonna be as good as the original. And then it's like, okay, I'm not really that into Star Wars. Mm. And then it's like, okay, I have to see these MCU movies before uh, shows before I see the movies. Like we're not really catering to a big audience here, guys. We're only catering to a pretty small. You know what I mean? Except for that one National Geographic Jeff Goldblum show. You see the trailer for that? I haven't. I know. So it's basically Jeff Goldblum going going around the world, and he says in the trailer, he's like. I'm not the smartest guy. I don't know everything about everything, but I'm I'm willing to learn. And it's just him going around the world, learning different things. And I'm like, all right, I'm on board. See, yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, that, see, that's a more general thing. Like, I, oh, j- j- just imagine a random person subscribing to Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. I want to see what Disney Plus has in store. I'm not super into Marvel. I'm not super into Star Wars. Just Disney Plus, a new streaming service. I'm going to buy it. You know what I mean? You're yeah. gonna watch this shit like, wait, what? Like, well, I'm not really. Yeah, I'm like, hoping they come out with more original stuff like that. Yeah, like it, I yeah. feel like it doesn't yeah. compete with Netflix. Like, like Netflix so- has all these classic movies, all these classic mm-hmm. show, Breaking Bad, the whole fucking things on. The, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. A little side note about that. I didn't know Disney owned National Geographic. Yeah, I found I that out no the other day. About, yeah, I found that yeah. out the other day. Yeah, National Geographic Gra- popped up. Or about Gigi. Yeah. And Mickey Mouse ran across the screen. I mean, it well, makes sense. Dick. He's a mouse, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all the topics we got today on the Power Button Podcast. Yes. Thank you, Johnson, for being our guest. Yeah, our first problem. guest. Yeah, problem. Definitely guest. want to have you yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to check us out every Monday. Check us out on Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts. Go check out the Jay Meany Review and the Featured Channels tab. Oh, yes. And until next time. 
Peace out, motherfuckers. That was nice.